we're going to get a speaker who is going to give his own experience. He's a sportsman. He's going to give his experience of cocoon. Here you are. And this is Matarka Joseph. He asked me to, he speaks very good English. He's a really well around two times uh, Olympic champion, seven times world champion of uh, cycling. And uh, I, I asked him about to come to London. And uh, first time I asked him, he jumped and said, OK, I come, no problem. Uh, he come to Hungary. He's from Slovakia. And please introduce yourself a little bit, OK? Yes. Yeah, Thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's uh, very nice to see so many people at uh, this wonderful presentation. Um, and I'm very pleased to be standing here and uh, sharing my story. So um, as it was said, I had a bit of a success uh, in a sport field. Uh, a little <laughs> But I, I need to be. Ah, OK, OK. Um, yeah, it's the same as on the bike. You know, you have to pose a little. And uh, then you get a little bit more success. Uh, but uh, let me start at the beginning. Um, at the beginning, I was a very restless child. Uh, and um, my mom was always chasing me with some kind of a stick for the mischiefs I was, uh, I was doing. And uh, many times, actually, he got injur uh, she was injured uh, because she fell off or something like that. And uh, I ran away. Uh, and this sort of um, motion and the passion for motion um, followed me throughout the life. Now, uh, you can imagine that uh, you start running because uh, it offers you freedom. It offers you freedom to go further, to explore the world. So I started running. Then I discovered a bike because bikes uh, give me a little bit more freedom again. And I could explore uh, further and further corners of, of my country. And as the time goes, you are sort of thinking, well, how can I go further? You know, without perhaps without parents knowing that uh, I'm uh, spending time somewhere far away from them because parents are always a little bit uh, cautious when the kid is running away and uh, they don't know. So um, my passion for the wheels continued and uh, I purchased the motorbike. Now with the motorbike, I uh, came here uh, to UK and I enjoyed very, very much. But unfortunately, even though today I think fortunately, um, I had an accident. Um, the accident resulted in me uh, having an amputation of the left leg below the knee. And at the time, of course, when I came to the hospital, I thought, well, this is the end of the world. I didn't know what's going to happen. I had a tennis coach career. And uh, it was a very, very strange period of life for me. But the restlessness, I think, continued, and it actually gave me uh, a path. I knew that I don't want to sit uh, home, or I, I want to fall in a self-pity. And I was sort of thinking, well, what do I do next? How, how to get on? And the sport actually helped me, because I discovered again that uh, the bike was actually waiting in the shed. So for a little while, it was over with the motorbike. But uh, I sat on the bike, and I started to cycle. And as I go, I go further and further and further. And of course, when something takes you uh, and you're passionate about it, you continue doing it, um, you get better, a little bit better, and a little bit better. And on my path uh, on the bike, I discovered actually Kakun. And it's very, very interesting because the cocoon and a performance, I think, are very well connected. Uh, we hear about uh, how cocoon brings, uh, brings oxygen into the blood. And I think performance in any sport is about using the oxygen. And uh, with, with the oxygen, you can then have a better performance. So, when I'm training on the track or on the road, uh, I started to drink Kakun. And I cannot put any exact numbers on what or how the Kakun is doing what it's doing. But uh, I think in past year, 
past a year and a half since I started to actually work with Kakun, uh, my performance or my um, um, when you rest in, you recover fa much faster. So then you can actually perform better. Uh, it's very hard to say how how Kakun would actually. Um, enhance the performance directly, but the indirect effect for me is amazing. You can rest a little bit better. I think uh, your body gets more oxygen and then somehow, even with less of a rest period, you can actually perform better. And I observed this last year when I was getting ready for the World Championship and I didn't have the normal usual period for preparation um, in a Newport on a velodrome. Um, I was drinking Kakun along the whole preparation, which was about a month time. And uh, the performance was going better and better. So my time actually per lap uh, was lower which to me was a very big surprise because um, never before I have experienced anything like this. Um, when you start chasing seconds or tenths of a second, um, you look for absolutely every, every possibility where you can gain um, the speed virtually for free. Because if you have to work for it and train, every tenth of a second takes you a long, long time to, um, uh, to cut down. Yet, when I started to use Kakun, um, there was the direct feel that I could actually go a little bit faster. And overall, with the combination of um, technical support with my coach, we could see the results and uh, it resulted, of course, in uh, the sixth and the seventh world title. So I was very, very pleased to actually meet Kakun and uh, started to work, Kakun, work with Kakun. And uh, the results are not only, not only within the cycling world. Um, I'm very passionate about skiing. Uh, sometimes, as you can see, I travel the, without the skis and the skis stays behind me. Uh, actually, that time I went to collect it in the spring because um, we couldn't find them. Um, so all these sports, as you can see, it's uh, also high altitude sports. And um, in high altitude, you start to have less and less oxygen. Now. As we heard before in, uh, in the lectures, uh, the problem starts when you have not enough oxygen in your body. And uh, just recently, I've been to Kilimanjaro. Now, going to altitude of about 6,000 meters above the sea, and uh, prior to that, uh, Elbrus, that was about 5,600 above the sea, um, you can start to feel that your body uh, is deprived of the oxygen because of the high altitude. Now, somehow, drinking the water before, because it's quite difficult to also transport the amount of water to these altitudes, but by drinking it before for two, three weeks, I could feel in Kilimanjaro that I didn't really um, feel the headache or uh, the fatigue that I felt at Elbrus, where I drink much less. And uh, this is a comparison Basically, this year, the Elbrus was May, and the Kilimanjaro I climbed just recently. So it's for me, it's very, very fresh knowledge. And although it's only on a personal level that um, I don't have a scientific proof to this and, and the numbers to back it up, but I think as a person of qualitative research, um, I'm very happy that I have experienced this, and I can only confirm that Kakun has to have uh, an effect that uh, for sure, uh, makes your performance better. And uh, for day-to-day -day life, I think you can function just more effectively. So um, with the accident, I was, uh, I was also thinking, you know, what to do and how to, um, how to go on with the life. But uh, then I realized that it's, it's very simple. When you don't stop moving, you just go on and you can really do whatever you want. And I truly believe that what I want with combination uh, and drinking Kakun will get better, better, and I can do more with Kakun. Thank you very much.
Very good. Thank you very much.